And we begin with those new developments in the death of a cinematographer on the set of the film Rust starring Alec Baldwin. It was being made near Santa Fe, New Mexico. Investigators say they spent the day on the set looking for answers. CBS 2's Corey James here now with more for us. Corey. And Maurice and Jessica, according to court records released today, the assistant director did not know the prop gun was loaded with the live round. And that person we have learned handed the loaded weapon to Alec Baldwin, saying it was cold, indicating it was safe to use. But moments later, that fatal shot was fired. I wondered how can something like that actually happen? That was the first thought Peter Carano's had after learning his Greenwich Village neighbor, Alec Baldwin, was involved in an accidental shooting on a New Mexico movie set Thursday. He's nice to us, and, you know, says hello to us all every morning. According to deputies. We have a Baldwin fired a prop gun killing cinematographer Galena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza, who was standing behind her. Latif Dickerson is a weapons specialist based in Jersey City and has worked on dozens of movies as a firearm expert over the last 30 years. He tells CBS2 while prop guns use blanks, small projectiles from leftover gunpowder can also create dangerous situations if the shooter is about 15 feet from the subject. Which creates a spark that ignites the gunpowder. And the gunpowder goes off, and yeah, if there's anything in the barrel, that's going to get um, shot out of there. Meantime, as the shooting investigation continues, new details leading up to this tragic moment are unfolding. Sources who reportedly spoke to the LA Times say hours before the incident, camera crew workers walked off the job in protest over working conditions, including gun safety. It is alleged non union crew members replaced them. However, what is clear is the outpouring of love for the 42 year old woman shot in the chest. In a tweet Friday, Baldwin stating he is shocked and saddened, adding his heart breaks for her husband, son, and all who knew and loved Galena, a woman remembered as a gifted photographer and wonderful person. I think Ward incredible is not to even begin to describe her personality. Really generous, really talented, really upbeat. She was just uh, very kind. That's the, the main, main word that I think of when I think of Helena, uh, both on set and off. And so far, Baldwin, a producer on the film, has not addressed the allegations of unsafe working conditions, but he says he is cooperating with authorities. Maurice. Okay, Corey, thank you. More information now on this tragedy in New Mexico. It's just the latest gun accident to impact Hollywood. Back in 1984, John Eric Hexham was just 26 years old when he fatally shot himself on the set of the TV series Cover Up. The gun was loaded with blanks, but it was fired at such a close range that projectiles turned deadly. And nearly a decade later, 28-year-old Brandon Lee died after being shot while filming the movie The Crow. That gun was supposed to fire a blank, but a bullet was found in Lee's spine. And stay with CBS2 and CBS in New York for the latest updates on the investigation into the movie set shooting. We also have more on the tributes to Helena Hutchins on CBSNewYork.com.